everybody and welcome to the first day of our five day free motivation boot camp. Just to start off, one of the reasons why I wanted to do something like this was because I really felt like just going and working out and getting in the gym is only one part of what, um, what consists of our health and fitness. Really what we're eating and what we're putting into our bodies is 80% of the makeup and the buildup of what we end up looking like, feeling like, and how we end up performing. So it's so important how to do these things. And when I say things like portion control or meal planning or your success planner, I think those words scare some people. <laughs> so I'm here today to, and throughout the week, to share with you just some tips that I have. Um, some are tips and tricks with different um, tools and free printouts and things that I am going to share with you, but this really starts with you and the motivation to want to do this for yourself. So these videos will last anywhere from about five to 10 minutes each day. And I'm really, I'm going to do them in an order that you really want to um, start with the first video and, your, and work your way to the end. The very first thing that we're going to talk about today is going to be portion control. As you can see right here, I have a printout and you will also have this document as well as um, another one that I have here for myself. Let's talk about portion control. So let's say we go out to eat and we're out at a restaurant and the waiter brings us our meal. Well, we look down and that meal can serve about two or three people, right? So it's crazy how much one portion size actually is versus what you're given to in a restaurant or what you're used to seeing on your plate. Think about it like this. One really easy tip and trick to kind of trick your mind into thinking that you're eating more than you actually are is switch out your plates. Go from those big dinner plates and downsize to a smaller salad plate. And when you are portioning out your food, this is something that tricks your mind into thinking that your plate is really full when really you're having half the serving size of what you would normally be having. So that's just one little tip. Another thing is, again, if you look at this chart right here, you really want to think about not just weighing your food, but you want to go by the rule of thumb, okay? So we can actually use our hands as a really good guide um, to show us and teach us how many portions that we need to be eating and what we should be eating. I'm sure you've seen containers like this before, and these are awesome for, you know, when you're starting out, how to put your veggies in and your fruits in and how much you should be eating. Another tip for you, um, what the most successful people do in terms of having the most success with their weight loss journey or on their health and fitness journey is they eat the same thing, not every day, but they eat the same foods pretty regularly. And why do they do that? I'll tell you why. Because they know their serving size. They know that you know eight egg whites is gonna be one serving size of protein. They know that six slices of turkey is one uh, serving size of protein. Same thing with veggies. To have three fourths cup of veggies, you have to know what it looks like and how much of that food is on your plate, right? Because we can't always carry these little handy dandy containers around with us. You really get your brain to think and visualize what it is and how much of a serving size actually looks like. So I'm gonna give you guys this awesome breakdown of what each serving size looks like, okay? So just to give you an idea, if we look at, if we use our fingers, say cheese, string cheese, we wanna use our pointer finger, okay? That's the size of a portion, okay? That's one and a half ounces, and that's what you wanna eat. Anything more than that, you're going over your portion size. Um, let's talk about maybe veggies, okay? And if you're doing containers, your green is your veggies, okay? So a fist size is how much you wanna eat of your veggies. Okay, that's gonna be one cup. So anything that you wanna use one cup, imagine, imagine your fist size, okay? Again, if you, if you put it next to each other, they kind of look similar, right? Because this equals one serving size and so does your fist for one cup. Um, if we're talking about fruits, so again, if you're using the containers, your purple is your fruit and that is also gonna be one fist, also one cup. So also another tip for you guys, when you sit down to eat, make sure that you're eating your protein first 
and then your veggies, okay? I know these containers look really small, but when you actually fill them up and pour them out onto your plate, they're a lot bigger than what they look like right here, <laughs> okay? So these can be a little, you know, deceiving. Make sure that you're eating your protein first and then your veggies. That's gonna fill you up. Once you've had the protein and the veggies, then you can work your way onto the fruits or onto the carbs and the healthy fats. We still do need these in our diet, but if you really wanna see results, you wanna stick with your protein and your veggies first, always, okay? So when that bread basket comes to the table, don't, you know what, tell your waiter or your waitress, don't even bring it because you don't even wanna be tempted with that, okay? So stay away from having carbs first. Definitely, if you have a salad that comes out, eat that and then stick with your with your protein, but don't go for fruits or um, you know your healthy fats or your carbs first. Definitely stick with your protein and your veggies. The next thing, if you look at the palm of your hand, okay, so that's just right here. That is the serving size that we're looking for for chicken, beef, fish, pork, so any of our meat, beans, and nuts, okay? Listen, when you guys go and reach for that bag of almonds or peanuts or whatever type of other healthy fats that you're going for, it's not the whole bag, <laughs> okay? It's something that is so easy to sit there and mindlessly eat, you know, at our desk or while we're watching TV. While it is better than chips, it's something that actually can do you more harm than good if you're overeating it. So stick to what you're portion sizes are and know them. And also, as you become more familiar with them, you'll just know what a portion size is. I usually tend to go for about 10 or, or 12, which is usually a handful um, of almonds if I'm going to eat them. So stick to that rule. And again, I'm going to make sure that you get, along with this video, that you get the serving size comparison chart as well as this handy dandy hand chart right here. I hope this helped for you today. Again, this group is all about motivation and dedication. I am here to help you, but all of this starts first with you. So make sure that you guys are keeping up with this program. And if you're loving it, make sure you share this with your friends and family and get them on board because the more the merrier and the more people that you have encouraging you and motivating you and supporting you, they'll see you along the journey. Okay? So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye -bye.